Here we go. Kim Whitley and Delton Stallings are promoters from Elizabeth City and Hertford, North Carolina area. They've been running the Williamston Indoor Truck and Tractor Pole going back many years now. They are also they also have a poll coming up on June the 27th. Welcome to Let's Grow Pulling East Coast Edition, guys. Thank you, man. Mm. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Yeah, there you go. Hey, Delton runs a small block 4x4 truck called After Hours. Tell us what that name is about and uh, what class you pull in. Uh, we pull the 6200 small block wheel. Um, basically, truck pulling is like any other sport, not like any other sport. You don't really have much uh, testing options. You don't have a testing tune. So uh, you pretty much got to go out there and your stuff's got to be right when you get there. So it takes a lot of time maintenance in the truck, keeping the truck at its uh, top condition. So when you go out, uh, and, and make a pool that you can finish up front and uh, put on a good show. That's right. And, and after hours, I got to do something with school or something. It's like an after hour hobby for you. After hours, it kind of goes with when you get off work, there's a lot of uh, extra hours put in uh, working on that truck and the maintenance. So that's kind of where the name comes from. I got gotcha. you. Now, Ken, you've been watching these uh, small box trucks pulling for a while now. Why are these trucks so fun to watch? I think they're fun to watch because the people who enjoy watching them can relate to them. I mean, you can look at a vehicle in that class, and it's very similar to what's sitting in your driveway at home. You know, most of them, they don't have the motor coming out of the hood and everything, so they can relate to it more to what they drive now. It's all steel bodies and not fiberglass bodies. It's an up-and-coming class. It's really took off by storm. It surprised a lot of people. It surprised a lot of promoters when they said, all right, we'll try it. And it's, it's it actually jumping up to be one of the biggest places there is out there. Right. And it, it, you can relate to your dad's truck, your granddad's truck. You know, uh, yeah. it's something that is relatable. Now, you've been promoting a lot of events, not just pulling. Uh, what does Dragon Motorsports and this lineup of classes represent for you as a promoter? Well, as a promoter, you know, we, we do some mud, some mud run events, a little bit of monster trucks and stuff, but my heart's always been in truck and tractor pulling. And it just fell out, it just fell in place this time. Dragon Motorsports is by far the premier truck and tractor pulling on the eastern United States. The best of the best with Dragon Motorsports. It just uh, happened this year, the first points pool is going to be right here in North Carolina, Morgan's Corner Proving Grounds. And we're really excited about that. And a lot of guys are really anxious to get out there and pull their trucks they've been working on. They've been kept up in captivity. Winter time is over. It's time to make some noise and spin some tires, and that's what we're going to do at the Bowling Storm Improvement Ground. And we're very excited about having Dragon Motorsports once again hosting this event. A absolutely. Uh, now, l let's talk a little bit about the track. What kind of action are we expecting for the Polars? Is it going to be a power track? Is it going to be a driver's track? Is it going to be a finesse track? Or is it just going to be kind of determined by what, what we do when we get there? Well, we'll um, we're going to try to make it to take as much power as we can we can put on it. But uh, basically, you got a lot of things that come in and that come to mind with that. The weather is going to determine that. Um, we're hoping for pretty weather and uh, a nice weekend. But if everything's set uh, perfect, we're going to try to to make the track where it'll take all the power that that you can lay on it. Yeah, we we took that track in there about two years ago. We had that track actually brought in from out of the area because we're. In this area here, the, the track is more conducive to sand. We had that clay brought in. We got about 400 foot of clay track, and we, well, I think we're gonna make it work out pretty good. We got some of the best track builder is around here. The guys have been with Big Daddy Motorsports for 20 years, and we're gonna put that clay down and try to make it work. Cause one thing about it, if we don't give them a good track, they don't want to come back, and we want them to come back. Right, and, and you guys are so close to the beach that you really do have to bring in something else. That's why we did it. Yeah, and it's been working. It's been working in the past, and we're gonna make it work again this year. Right, right. Uh, a couple years ago, Dragon Motorsports brought in that small block class that we were talking about, Delton. Uh, talk, talk about how that class has grown since then, and what makes it so cool. Uh, you know, I guess both being a puller in that class and now a, a promoter helping this uh, event out. Well, I mean, the class has grown because of. Uh, the, we got a good set of rules. We had three or four people sit down. We got a good set of rules. It's basically a 440 cubic inch motor. It's an affordable class where people can get in and and, and they can participate. And and it basically it to a, a I guess you kind of got me stuck a little bit there. <laughs> well, it, it's a little bit more affordable class, I think, 
But as anything else goes, they've been stepping that game up. These engines now, I mean, they're making astronomical power. It used to be there's four or five hundred horsepower. And I know I've seen right. dyno sheets where these guys are making six, seven hundred horsepower now. Back when I was pulling national, I mean, some of our national trucks barely had that. So they stepped the game up. They like it. I will say this about these guys. They're all there to help each other. Don't get me wrong. When they're on the track, they want to beat each other just as bad as the next man. But they're, they're still hands-on helping each other. It's a good group of people. We got a belt going around. It's kind of like wrestling. We got the belt going on. It's been working good. And they're bringing that belt back. And the guys said they want to take it. To, they want to keep it down here. But we'll see how it goes. Well, the only problem with that belt is it's made for a smaller fellow, much like myself. I know we had a, a difficult time getting around one of the pullers at the Big Daddy Pole. Wait a minute now. That, I think that bit, what, he wasn't that big. I think the belt just needed to be stretched a little bit. I think that's a, that's a pretty big fellow one, and I didn't want to argue with him. He's a pretty big fellow, you know. <laughs> yeah. I got you. Yeah. I got you. Well, hey, we know you can't put on an event like this without, you know, overnight. It takes help. Uh, who are some of the people helping you out, either by sponsorship or even sweat equity, trying to help put this pull on? Uh, we got a lot of people to thank, Will. When it comes to the sponsors, uh, we went out in uh, early January, February. These guys answered the call. I think they're they're excited about coming on board and, and helping us with the event. So I'd like to give um, a little bit of shout out to Perry Diesel Performance um, here in Loop City, North Carolina. Yep. You got yeah. Odom's Lawn Care and Tractor Service over in Curry Tuck. Um, you have Biggs Pontiac Buick GMC Truck from Elizabeth City. Uh, Pepsi Bottling Ventures here in Elizabeth City. Uh, Our Mall Electric Membership Corporation over in Hertford. Duck Through Stores is a duck through store right on the corner at Morgan's Corner. And it's, yeah. a, it's a big stop for the pullers to fuel up, to get their uh, their sandwiches, the drinks, whatever they may need to come into the pool. Uh, PullingShirts.com, if you will. Um we have uh, Charles Wilson Performance uh, Fabrication in Elizabeth City, Leary Alignment Shop, Elizabeth City, uh, Mark's Truck Repair and Dino Service in Eden, North Carolina, uh, Mike Balance Heating and Air, Elizabeth City, North Carolina, and we also have uh, Lane's General Contractors in Hertford, North Carolina, and T&W Trucking out of Buckingham, Virginia. Um, all these guys have come on, and we couldn't do it without them. Uh, it takes a lot of money to put on a show like this, but these guys have helped us put on a, um, a top-notch show. Yeah. They sure have. We have E-Gas Screen Printing here in Live City. is having some shirts made for this event. Got a new shirt coming out. And uh, the guys at Morgan's Corner Proving Ground, Jason Keeter, Alvin York, and the guys, I can't name them all, Jason Hughes. Them guys run that park every weekend of the year in motocross track. They have stepped up and helped us, and we do mud runs there. Great bunch of guys. Not You know, when they were not trucking, tractor pulling there, they have motocross they got a pond with swimming it's, it's family it's, we have a real good time there and that's what we're gonna do after the event hang around cook out we got food and everything there we have a good time after the event as well now you you hit you hit it with me when you said food now what are fans going to be able to look forward to i know they're going to have a little bit of fur, uh, a little bit of merch that they can look at what are we looking at as far as merch and food well we got some t-shirts and all that we're selling morgan's corner proving grounds will be selling some shirts eddie wiseman a local guy here, he cooks good barbecue. They're going to have that there. And we have some fries and some chips and drinks and everything. You won't go home hungry. You might go home with a headache from the noise. We got, we're expecting between 60 and 80, at least 60 to 80 participants. We've had people calling Pennsylvania, Maryland. They've been calling from all around saying they're coming. So this is going to be an astronomical event. We're going to see people that we haven't seen in a long time down here in North Carolina Poland. I got you. I got you. Now, you mentioned that Big Daddy is doing some other things at the Morgan's Corner Proving Ground, much like uh, the, the mud jams and, and things like that. What else do y'all have going on the rest of the year, Ken? Well, I tell you, July 11th, we got a mud bog we're going to do out there. We got mega trucks and everything coming in. July 4th, we got a pit bike motocross. That is a big thing. Grown adults get on a pit bikes and race. We're having a ball. And Jason Keeter, as usual, every year he puts on firework displays. I mean, really, people ride by and they see it and they say, which city did it? It was Jason Cater. Morgan's Corner Proving Ground on July 4th. He puts it out there all the time. He's all he's into it and we have a good time. A lot of events be coming up, and hopefully we'll be doing another truck and tractor pull August the 1st. We hope we'll see how it works out. We plan on coming back August the 1st. August 1st, Ju July. I mean, you got a lot of stuff going on. Now, are you listing all those events on Big Daddy Motorsports, uh, the Facebook page? I'll tell you what I need to do. I need to tighten up is what I need to do because you know I'm slack. 
they don't got me busy mm -hmm. and, and building house, doing everything, but we'll get them on there. And we want to thank you for stepping up and helping advertise our events, Will, because you've helped to advertise our events on social media. You've reached out to people that I know that I never could have reached out to, and I appreciate it. You'd be surprised how many people tell me that they saw it on your page and all, and I appreciate you coming down and filming it for us, too. Well, we, we enjoy, you know, being there and doing the work. And uh, yeah, I was talking to my son, you know, he's he's talking about coming down with me. And I said, look, it's not that we're trying to be the best in the world. We're just trying to do the best that we can with what we got, with the cameras that we got. So we were going over the cameras and tightening those up, making sure they're charged up, ready to go clean for this weekend and then for your event next weekend. So I appreciate it. Do you guys have any parting shots that you guys want to uh, throw out there? Was it, wait, we're wait. just looking forward to next weekend, Will. Yeah. We're looking forward to next weekend. Um, hopefully, uh, the pullers will come down. We're looking forward to a big crowd to come out and support. And uh, make sure uh, one thing we got to put in the flyer, need to bring our lawn chairs and uh, make sure everybody's got their lawn chairs and set up on the fence uh, side to back their trucks in and uh, and kind of tailgate a little bit. But uh, the pool starts at the start uh, mini rides start at 4 o'clock, so we'll have a show starting at 4. The gate's probably open around 2 o'clock, and then uh, the big show will be starting around 7. Yep, 7 o'clock. Yep. Steve Winslow. All right, that's, that's right. Steve Winslow's bringing the mini rod sled for the for the light two-wheel drives and the mini rods. Always a big turnout for them, <clears throat> and they help as well. Will, I want to tell you something. <clears throat> I'd about giving up on truck and tractor pulling down there. I got so much going on. But Danny Stylins and Delton Stylins came to me and said, we got to make this happen. We want to get pulling back. And I said, this is what it's going to take. We're going to need some sponsorship and a lot of feet, feet on the ground. I have the guys with Big Daddy Motorsports been helping me, and they're getting older like myself. But let me tell you something. Delton and Danny stepped it up, and all my guys who called me said, man, we're ready to go. So we're, we're on go. We're having a good time. It's raining cats and dogs down there. That's good. Let it finish now. So next weekend, we're looking for the sunny, nice truck and tractor pull. And look forward to seeing you. Well, that's right. So here, here's what we got. Show up early because the polling start at 4 p.m. The gates are opening at 2 p.m. The 4 p.m. show has the mini rods and the mini two-wheel drive trucks. Steve Wilson's running the sled on that. So get in early. Uh, you got backup parking. Uh, bring lawn chairs. And there will be plenty of food, plenty of fun. Come on out. Mark your calendars. And like the Big Daddy Motorsports page, the Dragon Motorsports page, the WWP TV page, and be sure to subscribe to WWP TV on YouTube for all upcoming polling videos that are going to be coming out here soon. Delton, Ken, it was good talking to you. I know it wasn't the longest show that we've ever put together, but there's a lot of information in here. We're showing the sponsor logos. We're showing some action on the screen. Thanks for thanks for calling in, and thanks for coming on to the show. Man, we no appreciate problem. it, buddy. We sure do appreciate it and help promote it. Looking forward to having a good old time, good old fashioned truck and tractor pool. That's what it's all about. Good family fun. That's what it's going to be. Had a good time. That's, there you go. So, Morgan's Corner, North Carolina, uh, right outside Elizabeth City, uh, Morgan's Corner, Proving's Ground. So, yeah, that's coming up June 27th. Get there early. Gates open at 2 p.m. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Yep.